Let's bring in Democratic strategist James Carville and News Nation correspondent at large, Geraldo Rivera. I like to call it a little bet. Uh, first of all, first of all, James, thank you for joining us when LSU's women team is playing right now, let alone against Iowa and Caitlin Clark. Very generous uh, of you to give us the opportunity. Appreciate it. Geraldo, I like to call these controversy or non-troversy. Is this a legit controversy that Biden did this, conflating the two? And if so, why? I think it is. I think that it is staff work that is horrible. He should fire the people responsible immediately. It's like not mentioning the slain New York City cop uh, during their festive occasion when he was joined by Presidents Clinton and Obama. It's just a failure, uh, you know, that leads more people to think about this as the crucifixion of Trump. He has successfully co-opted the, uh, the Easter weekend uh, and made Biden look like an insensitive, woke... Uh, uh, old fool. It's just the uh, it's it's incompetence of the of the highest or lowest, depending on your point of view level. Chris, James, what do you think about this? Uh, well, I honestly, think it's profoundly stupid. As if Biden even knew it was Transgender Awareness Day. By the way, Biden goes to mass and communion every week, as you well know. You couldn't find Trump in inside of a church anywhere. This, I, I really think this is utterly absurd. I don't think anybody in the White House was, was aware of this. As you point out, it's a, it's, a, it's a constant day. It's on March 31st. And I don't know anywhere in Trump's Bible where Jesus tells me to hate trans people or gay people, any other people. I, I, I just think this, and of course, they're, they're, unfortunately, there are like 120 policemen killed a year in the United States. It's terrible. But to, to say, and he had a fundraiser that was scheduled for God knows how long ago, I just think that we have false equivalency and nitpicking here. I really do. Optics. Optics, James. I am with you on everything uh, you just you said know, about what should matter and why, certainly I, when it comes to religiosity. But did you, would you have done this? Would you have had this proclamation come out on Easter Sunday and given the kind of I, attention that I they did, have, knowing if, how if charged it, the if, environment if it is? If it was every year, if it was every year on March 31st, and I don't think Biden knew. I don't think Mike or Anita or any of them. I mean, it's hardly something that gets to the upper echelon of the White House. But it, it, I'm not outraged by it at all. I, I feel I, I want charity for transgender people. They have high suicide rates. They have difficult lives. And why do these right wingers want to come jump all over them? When the message of Easter is love and we're all equal, and Jesus never said a anti word about gay people or transgender people. I just think, I'm just giving y'all what have me on here. I think the whole thing is absurd. Uh, listen, I wish you were right. My concern is that by doing this, you fuel animus towards the trans community. That's why I ask whether anything good could come out of it. Yeah. I'll tell you where I agree with your line of reasoning of the absurdity. Uh, Geraldo, coming back to you, is on the uh, Biden bound up on the back of the truck thing. Is it in bad taste for Trump to have shared it? Of course, he is the personification of bad taste. But I don't believe that this was a suggestion that Trump wants to take over America and destroy the democracy. Am I missing it? I think that the point that, with all due respect to James, who, of course, is a professional at this and I'm an amateur, uh, who who won the weekend? Uh, let, let's talk about real, hardcore, pragmatic politics. There were headlines throughout the country, certainly in and around New York City, about the juxtaposition of the, uh, the, the Biden fundraiser and the cops' funeral. Now you have the juxtaposition between uh, the holiest weekend in the Christian calendar, uh, Easter Sunday, and, uh, you know, the uh, transgender. God bless transgender people. I have transgender grand nephews. I understand. I'm tremendously sympathetic. But this is about who wins in the political arena. And what this has fueled is more of the, uh, the whole concept. It's not the, the prosecution of Trump. It's the persecution of Trump. He's the personification of the, of the religious uh, right. He is, uh, uh, despite his history and, and all the reality that goes with grab him by the, you know, you, the, you know what's and all the rest of yeah. it, Trump is coming out as the, as the, the anointed one. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And 
Don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.